Welcome people. Uh, today we are going to see our topic called uh, Internet of Things. So what is Internet of Things? So Internet of Things is nothing but it is uh, interconnecting of uh, physical devices. Okay, not only physical devices, not only uh, an electronic devices. It may be anything of your day to day life usage. It may be your smartphones or your mobile or it may be a vehicle or it may be your valve watches or it may be in your uh, buildings okay it may be anything it can be connected in order to exchange the data so how can it possible so let's see the uh, further slide how can we get possible in this way so i think the internet will be the uh, nowadays it's a day to life necessary usage okay it's a need for everyone's day to life so we are the people to connect the internet to share the information okay. so uh, so for example so we need uh, some uh, data so we will uh, get the data from the internet okay so and then we give it to the particular devices but else why can't we do it and give to the devices uh, instead of doing that straight away the device get the data from the internet if you need it or not for example so for example uh, our we have the device already called uh, an air, air conditioners depending upon temperatures it can be adjusted okay so what happens means internally uh, the sensor will be act okay sensor will act and it will read uh, the temperature of the room according to the room uh, temperature the uh, air conditioner changes the temperatures so is a uh, it's not really how we exit this concept. so likewise if we uh, work as other devices if they need the data they can straight away get it from the sensor so it will be helpful to, uh, without the human drive okay so in this iot we need the embedded technologies embedded technology means uh, we have to learn about the machines and sensors and circuits okay this kinds of uh, material we need to in order to implement the iot so what is the concept of an iot means is deeply widely connected there is especially we need uh, how you are connecting your devices how they are providing the data is more important than iot devices so the connecting is a human need and desire because nowadays everyone connected to the internet either maybe the something uh, uh, application like uh, whatsapp and facebook so we are connected so that uh, instantly we get a messages and uh, we can pass the messages to the uh, particular persons okay likewise if the, the things are connected so what will happen that's going to be seen in the iot in the uh, futures in the futures we go to uh, i think the iot will rule the futures uh, everyone uh, making implement easy to implement the iot in their product uh, so roads are connected to places now what is the roads no we roads for example roads are connected to places the telephones are connected to people uh, how the internet connect to the people and community like the iot will connect the things and uh, will provide information will provide the best information it's providing a best information so what is scope of connectivity scope of connectivity means it has uh, three main uh, objects there is a addressable accessible and actionable so in order to explain this uh, concept i can get uh, two examples for example our home okay or house or me it has an address okay it has an address so it is addressable we call it as it is an addressable and uh, it uh, it has it gets some receive from post or the courier to the address okay so it is accessible okay so it, uh, from here from one place we can't uh, close the door or uh, open the door because we, we don't have any connections to perform any actions of it. so it is not an actionable it is not an actionable but it's come to a system or computers it is as an address so uh, like we call it as ip address so it is accessible we can able to access the data and we can also actionable from here we can able to shut down or, or we can perform any operation to the internet if we connect to the internet so this is going to be explained that scope of connectivity so what is the need to implement the iot okay so we need to learn about the sensor uh, we can call it a cheap sensor means 
it's like uh, about the practice or practically we are going to see some uh, experiment so the cheap sensor is very helpful because it will make our simplified our, our jobs will be simplified okay so it is going to be a cheap sensor so if you are once uh, you are ready with your iot your product you can make the real time sensor so it is more uh, lightweighted and more compatible in your devices so we make an interchange the sensor a cheap sensor to some normal uh, high tech sensor okay and the cheap bandwidth or else we have a mobile bandwidth we can use all the cheap bandwidth also and cheap processor so if you have some market we have some uh, cheap processor you know to practice purpose we do some handle the load low low level of amount of data we can use the cheap sensor okay? the smartphones and the unified wireless coverage so this is more important here and then big data so we uh, if you want to data point with a large volume we can use a big data uh, structures okay so on and we as per usually we need an ip board 6 okay these are things we going to uh, implement the iot so here are some examples okay so for example uh, if you have smart parking systems we don't need to wait for a talking for a long time as of now if we are uh, everyone uses the car so the keeping the car is not a big thing so we have to be getting the parking area is more important so, so why you implement the iot in a parking system in a, in a city no need to waiting for a parking system okay so if you uh, if the parking is so as of now everyone is able to see that the parking has been uh, empty so the, this can be sent data to the iot uh, devices so it, it can uh, get a collect data so that this parking area will have some space to not park my car or else if, if the if the sensor is covered by the car so this car parking area is fully covered so that we can decide it to the other parking system nearby area so this is one of the best examples already is what we implemented so likewise this iot is not only for a for home it also implement for the industries or the cities or country on infrastructure levels so we can use the, uh, this iot in anywhere this board okay i think it's beyond the board we can also implement uh, i think it will be the i think the future will be the, it will go to the out of the world it will be in the works okay um thank you guys this is going to be the iot uh introduction spot okay and if you want more the iot part will, will produce some more learning things okay so i think uh, leading the iot is more preferable okay